Welcome to this short video about Firepower Backups. My name is Alexander Torres and I am a technical consulting engineer from Security Solutions team at Cisco. In this video, we will showcase the steps to generate a local and a remote backup for an FMC and a registered threat defense in SHA mode. A backup file contains specific information that identifies an appliance. Even though it can include all configuration from the FMC, they need to be differentiated from exports. Backups are not intended to copy configuration between appliances or saving configuration during testing of new changes. Instead, backups are typically used for platform replacements or disaster recoveries. Before backing up the management center, it is advised to ensure that you have updated the latest VDB and SRU versions available from software.cisco.com, download, find, FMC. Check the disk space in your FMC or remote storage device. It is also recommended to run backups during maintenance windows or low use hours. You can access the Backup Restore page by going to System Tools Backup Restore. The Backup Management page shows previous backup files that you can download, delete, or move to a remote server. In the bottom right corner, you can see the available storage. Clicking in Firewall Management Backup will create a backup profile. Here you can specify if you want to backup FMC configuration, events, or Threat Intelligence Director data. By default, backups are saved locally, specifically in the folder bar xf backup. You can send a copy to a SSA server with the copy when complete option. You can choose to connect the management center to a mail server and be notified when the backup is ready. Give it a name and save it or click Start Backup to start the process, which can be monitored from the Notification Task section. In the Backup Profile section, you will now find the recently created profile in case you want to use it in the future. Once the backup is complete, you can download it. To save your FMC backups in a remote server, click the remote storage icon. FMC supports NFS, SMB, or SSH servers. Let's use SSH for an example. Set the hostname or IP address, the home directory, a username and password. You can use the advanced option checkbox to specify other parameters like using a non default port. Enable the checkbox to use for backups and test connectivity to the server before you save. Go back to the backup page. Notice that the storage location is now showing the path to the remote server. From now on, all FMC backups will be saved in this location. Additionally, now we see the option to toggle between local and remote storage. Click in Firewall Management Backup since we are using a SSA server, it is not recommended to use the option copy when complete. If you do so, this will create a duplicate file in the remote server. Let's create an event only backup and let's click start backup to initiate the process. Once this is complete, you will see the backup file with the remote tab. For FTD, you don't need a profile. As you can see, I have disabled the remote option. FTDs will only create configuration backups, which include management interface IP and other data needed for the device registration with the FMC. Notice the storage location. To save the backup in the FMC, make sure the checkbox Retrieve to Management Center is checked. Choose the Manage Device. Click Start Backup. Being a pair of FTDs in SHA, each device will have a backup file.
When remote storage is configured, make sure you check the Retrieve to Management Center checkbox if you want the backup to be saved in the remote server. Otherwise, it will only be saved in the managed device. Backup files will be unencrypted in that tar format. Make sure that you're using a secure server for remote storage and verify transfer success. In the remote server, a folder will be created with the UUID of the FMC. This is a unique identifier that can be found in the show version command. Backups folder will keep the FMC backups, while the remote-backups folder will keep the managed device backups. You can configure a scheduled task to backup your devices regularly. Go to System, Tools, Scheduling. Click in Add Task. Under Job Type, choose Backup. Choose Recording. Set the frequency. Give it a job name. Choose the profile you want to use. You can add a comment or send email status if you have a mail relay host. And click Save when you're ready. The scheduled task will be visible in the screen. For 4100 and 9300 devices, it is recommended to use the FCM export feature to export a XML file with the logical device and platform configuration settings of your chassis. This option can be found in System Configuration Export. Finally, these are some of the options that can be specified in command line options of the Remote Storage Device section. You can specify the SMB or NFS version with verse equals and the version number which can be useful when SMB shared encryption security feature is enabled in a SMB version 3 file server. Also, sometimes you might need to disable the FMC file locking option, which is not supported in NFS version 2 and 3. To do so, use dash "-o no lock in command line options. This is further described in the bug that you will find in the description of this video. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.